Welcome to the Bold Top by Joe podcast. Coming straight to you from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. Your society and culture podcast. And now, let's welcome your host, Joe. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. And, uh, you know, hopefully... Uh, some of you, or maybe everybody, enjoyed my last episode, my my typical rantings of politics. Um, I haven't done that in a while. And for those that have followed me over the years now, uh, realize that I hate talking about politics. I I enjoy. Now, let, let, me, let me fix that. Let me rephrase that. I enjoy the politics. I enjoy, like, the stuff that's going on, right? I, I, I am intrigued with with the with the laws and the stuff that goes around but I hate talking about them because there's just so much so many problems right now these days that you wonder how do these people get elected and how do they get in office and why do they make the decisions that they make right it's just mind-boggling to me that there's so many people there's millions of people right and we get like the worst to try to run the company the, or the company well basically the company right us but the country right it's just it's absurd to me and sometimes i gotta have an episode like that where i just start ranting off stuff because you know i'm it's like therapy to me and i wish my show could be more uh, about politics and things like that, you know, that happen around, but I'm just, I'm not well versed, uh, and I can't, and sometimes I have a hard time explaining myself what the, the point that I'm trying to make. Um, a lot of the times, like I said this before, from the beginning, when I started my show, my podcast was, uh, I, I wanted to be real. So everything that I'm saying is what I'm feeling at the moment. Right. And, uh, it's just my view of things. It doesn't mean that I'm right. It doesn't mean that I'm wrong. You know, it just means that whenever I'm telling you this, this is how I'm feeling at the moment. The This is like the, the, the little bit of stress, you could say, that when you watch the news or you read the news or you're just like, what the hell are we doing? What the hell are we doing in this country, right? We move here, for instance, us, my family, we move here for a better life and uh, we to have a better opportunity, which uh, thanks to this country, I am very grateful of that we were, uh, we are able and we were able to do something, right? But uh, as soon as, when you, when you start getting older, you realize that when you start paying more attention to politics and stuff like that, you're like, holy shit, man, out of the millions of people in this world, you, we definitely pick some crazy ass people to run the country right and it's just mind boggling to me why we do that you know people are so tribal they're democrats or republicans they're going at it all the time instead of thinking of us right the american people the people in this country that's what we should be thinking about not about you know your side my side this side supports this this side supports that i mean we're so split apart in this country it's ridiculous you know people want us to be united want us to be together but our polit you know our politicians and our you know and our parties are so divided in everything it's just insane right you get a democratic president you get a republican president they're trying to pass laws these people say no because they don't think this way these other people say yes this, i mean they were just so divided we can't come to a happy medium right it's always some bullshit in between right and that to me is what's really upsetting that we just can't find somebody that can just, to me, be normal, right? Just be normal running the damn country. Do make the right decisions, right? And I know that being a president, I'm sure it's really hard or being a politician is super hard, right? And I don't know what it is to be in a job like that. So, you know, I can't put myself in their shoes and, and be like, yeah, I could do this better. Like, I don't know. Obviously, it's probably really hard. But some, some of the stuff that's happening is just insane to me. And it's just, I just don't. I just don't understand the corruption and, the, you know, it's just, it's unbelievable. But we're not going to talk about that. I just wanted to uh, recap on the last episode, but I, I'm not going to talk about any presidents today. I'm going to try to, my my podcast is so broad when it comes to society and, and, and culture. And I think that I need to uh, close the gap, right, for uh for for listeners right because i'm all over the place sometimes i talk about all kinds of different things and i and i feel that i need to 
uh, cut down and stick with one thing, right? And uh, today, you know, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna push for a new start, right? Something, something a little bit different. And uh, while I'm at it now, you know, I'm going to make a special announcement. Actually, I wasn't going to, uh, but I'm gonna because this just makes me do it <laughs> instead of, uh, you know, thinking about it, overthinking it and, you know, not doing it, not making it possible. And, and maybe if I say it on here, I can push myself a little bit more. So this is about podcasting, right? I know I've been going on for five minutes, but eventually I'll get to the actual topic. So. I'm going to be starting a new show. Yes, I have. I am a, a host of this show, and I am also one of the hosts of the League of Kings podcast that I have with my brothers, Will, J. Dot, and Big Brother. And um, we have a society and culture podcast that we talk about all kinds of different uh, things, just a well organized uh, show, right? And uh, so. This new show is going to be about something that I am actually an expert on. You know, I know a lot of everything. I, not everything. That's not even the right. I know a lot about a lot of different things. But when it comes to society and culture, but I'm not an expert in any of them. Right. I am not an expert in any of those things when it comes to society and culture. This, the, this show is ran off by... It's ran by me reading stuff, researching stuff, and, and giving my own opinions about how I feel and how I look and how I view the world, or view things, right? That's how I run this show. But I've always wanted to have a show where I am the actual expert in the field. I, am, I actually know uh, certainty what the hell I'm talking about. And uh, that is the reason why I decided to finally make this show. Now, when I started my podcasting journey, I I thought about it and I was like, this is what I should be making the show about. But instead I wanted to reach a little bit farther. And I'm like, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a society and culture podcast because I want to learn about more things. I want to talk to people. I want to, uh, I want to hear them talk and, and hear their opinions and, and see how they think, right? See, see what's going on, right? Why they think this way. And uh, just, just so I can get a better understanding on, on how we work, right? And also society and culture puts you into researching, you know, cultures and food and religion and, you know, everything, like all these cool things that you research that I've, that I've researched that I've actually become a lot smarter uh, and a lot more aware of things around me, things that I had no idea when it came to aliens and, you know, you name it, all these things that I've learned from doing this show, from doing my research and reading articles and doing this stuff, you know, so I've taken this show more like a, uh, like a school of learning for me when it comes to society and culture, right? I got to meet a bunch of, uh, good people, a bunch of great people. I've made uh, friendships, of uh, my friends, and now I call my brothers, you know, the guys uh, on the show, on the other show, the League of Kings podcast. I mean, it's just, it's amazing the journey that I've taken. But, you know, my expertise is in uh, fixing stuff, you know, cars and uh, you name it, engines. And that is where I am the expert in. And uh, my, my new show, is going to be about that, right? It's going to be about uh, cars and uh, all kinds of different things, you know. Uh, with maybe have some of my old friends that have sh that have uh, their own shops now, and uh, you know, have a have some whiskey and a cigar with them, and maybe record uh, on a in, a in a cigar bar with them, and have some cameras in there. You know, that is my next that is my next step. You know, and and, and this I can be able to. To actually, like I've said a few times already, actually be the expert in the conversation, right? Instead of just kind of rolling around and trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to say next and what, what am I talking about next, right? So I am um, I am very excited. I haven't, I have a few names on there. I'm going to be recording a few episodes. Uh, the name I'm going to whip out, get a good name on there and, and a, a good uh, uh, illustration. And I'm going to go ahead and make the podcast and, and start putting in a few shows but 
Uh, like I said, I don't know what the name is going to be just yet. I have a few names in mind, but uh, this show is going to be great. Uh, basically, I'm going to tell you a little bit about now since I'm still on my rant and I still haven't gotten to my topic of the day. But uh, basically, I'm going to be uh, going to car shows and interviewing people. And also, I'm going to be talking about all kinds of different subjects. You know, what cars, what cars to buy when you have a teenager? What car to buy your wife? You know, what car not to buy? What's the hardest car to work on? You know, what to do when the car fails and it's broke down for this problem? Or, you know, the experiences when I was young driving a car and uh, the things that broke and the things that I did to them. And, you know, so I've I've. I've been doing this professionally for 23 years. That's what I have a degree in is uh, uh, automotive mechanic. Uh, I don't know what the, what the hell they want to call them now. They change the damn names, but uh, automotive technology. And that's what's been my career. My whole career has been on that. And I've learned management. I've learned, uh, I've had supervisor roles, uh, you know, just all kinds of lead roles and stuff along my uh, my career in automotive and not just automotive, but in mining. And I mean, you can, you name it from, uh, off-road trucks to all kinds of different cool stuff. You know, I've been involved. If it has an engine, if it takes fuel, I probably had my hands on it. So, um, very excited. I'm going to be, uh, like I said, talking to some of my friends that have some really cool shops going in there and, and, and videoing some shops and putting them up on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, so you, so you can see what happens in a shop, right? And so you can talk to these people on how they, how they started and, and what made them um, put all their money in, 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 in make a shop, right? And make a business and how hard it's been for them. So that's, that's what my goal is. It's going to be uh, really cool. It's not going to be society and culture and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be more of uh you know, cars and, and stuff like that. But, you know, that's exciting to me because this is what, this is my forte. This is my strong, this is my strong side of me, right? The the fixing stuff, fixing cars and fixing everything that, that I can get my hands on. So it's going to be very exciting. And, uh, you know, I will let you all know what the name of the show is uh, eventually. And uh, when it's, when I have a few episodes up, I'm going to make sure I tell everybody, um, you know, when, when it's already up and running, but stay tuned for that. Yes, I'm going to be busy. I ha This podcasting is very busy, but I can't just drop this show. I have to continue. Uh, I enjoy talking and um, I enjoy the journey, right? And, and learning new things about our society and, and culture all around the world, right? Not just in, in the United States of America. Um, stuff that I can talk on this show you know, I'm going to have on the other show, right? And and vice versa. So it's going to complement it very well and also keep my drive going. Like I said, I still have another show where I am the host in also. And, you know, that's a completely different show. That one is a lot, that one is a lot easier because we have four, four of us are working on different things at the same time and we're pushing out ideas and um, we have will that he's our lead of the show so he leads us right into conversations and you know so it's a lot easier when you have more people right because you can you can always uh, have something to talk about and when you are when you are a solo podcaster you know you sometimes run into a little bit of trouble trying to make some you know come up with some words but uh yeah gotta be a little busy but uh it's gonna be great so you know i'm sorry i took 13 minutes out of your life of telling you some some bullshit but uh you know i just wanted to make sure i i got some of the stuff out of the way but today today i'm gonna be talking about the nostalgia resurgence the undeniable comeback of trends from the past that have captured our present right from fashion to music and movies nostalgia seems to be everywhere these days so let's take a journey in time right and i'm i'm an 80s kid but you still see all the trends right when you're growing up so remember those bell-bottom jeans from the 70s right the neon col colors and scrunchies of the 80s or the grunge music and uh like flannel shirts of the 90s right these trends once defined an era and now they're uh, now they're making a powerful comeback, uh, and, but why though, right? But why? What's driving the resurgence? So, digging deeper, 
let's let's explore why these nostalgic trends resonate so deeply today. No, nostalgia often brings, uh, I would say, a sense of comfort, right? Reminding us of simpler times or cherished, cherished, um, ugh, I didn't say that, cherished memories. The current fast-paced, digitally saturated world might be driving people to seek solace in uh, familiar trends that, uh, that evoke positive emotions, right? The impact of nostalgia isn't just emotional it's uh it's economic and it's cultural too uh fashion brands are reintroducing retro styles movie studios are rebooting classics right like indiana jones and all these movies that are coming out right that just keep popping up and musicians are sampling hits from the past right we all seen that you know all these musicians all these artists are putting in old jazz tracks in there, Ray Charles music in there. I mean, old school songs, right? Whitney Houston stuff. I mean, everybody's remaking all these songs, right? Because it reminds us of something, right? But how does this affect consumer behavior? Are we are we just buying into the past for for its own sake of seeking something deeper? I don't know, right? I, as we ponder the present obsession with with the past it raises intriguing questions i think about the future will this nostalgia trend continue indefinitely or is it a cyclical face right how might how might future generations redefine nostalgia given the the overwhelming uh, digital footprints we are creating uh today the the resurgence of nostalgia unveils I believe it unveils a complex interplay between memory, culture, and society. It's a, it's a phenomenon that transcends uh, mere fashion or entertainment. It reflects our collective yearning for connection, comfort, and I will, be, and I believe also identity in in this world. Right? Um, every time you know I, I go and I see an ad on whatever platform you're in, there's always ads, you know, you see like a Nintendo or an Atari or things like that. You're like, holy smokes, it really puts you back in time, right? And I feel that nostalgia comes from reliving something, right? A moment in time uh, that you were at when you see this object or you wear this clothes, right? Uh, it takes you back, right? Whenever I I see a Nintendo or something, it, it, it takes me back to my grandmother's house to... When I was a kid, I was playing with my cousins and our friends in the neighborhood, and we'll be there for hours just playing a video game, right? Just enjoying our time, laughing, making funny jokes, um, having our parents call us for dinner like five times, you know, because we're just we're playing video games, right? And and whenever I see that video console or that game console, it it takes me back, right? That nostalgia, right? You want to have it again because it reminds you of good things, right? Uh, it reminds you of a time that uh, that you can go back to, right? Because we're too busy now. We're way too busy with our lives as adults and we work and we take care of families and we do this and the bills and the gas and the food and the politics and all this. And you forget sometimes that, you know, these things used to bring you happiness, right? All these things, the music, and, you know, it could be music from when you were on your first date or music when your parents, when the first time you remember them dancing together or, you know, for instance, uh, cologne. Like I, my, I, every time I smell a specific cologne, it reminds me of my grandfather. You know, when I was like 10 years old and I used to uh, watch him in the morning, get dressed, you know, put his shoes on and his shirt, you know, always ironed out. You know, my grandma would iron all his clothes and he would put this specific cologne i can't remember the name of it but it's i mean it's to me it smells bad but it was back in the day it was it was like you know the thing right uh, just like anything else but just smelling the cologne and when i smell it now it's like just rare right it's a rare cologne that people will be wearing now but it's probably something that it's for them nostalgia right maybe their father used it their grandfather used it and they enjoy the smell and they want to wear it right because it reminds them of them or or whoever and 
you know, that's how I felt. You know, I was like, man, it really reminds me of my grandfather. It gives me great memories. It's nostalgic. It's amazing, right? And uh, it takes you back into time when you were a kid or you were in a, you were a teenager. And, uh, you know, all those great moments that you had. Because when you're a young kid, when you are a um, teenager, um, you don't really start learning about politics or the world problems or bills or nothing you're just kind of riding it right you're just enjoying life you're just hanging out you're just having a great time and uh, life is a lot easier right but when you get older and you become an adult and you have a family and you have to work and you, all this stuff right it's life is a lot more complicated right and we as uh, children or teenagers, we don't understand what our parents are going through, right? Because we're just trying to play video games, play football. You know, you remember all these cool things like the super soaker tank, the Nerf footballs. I mean, all those things that we used to have if you're from the 80s, right? 80s, 90s, you know, all those cool things, right? Like I remember uh, I always wanted this thing called the avalanche, right? The avalanche was basically a piece of wood with wheels and a steering wheel. And it only worked when you pushed somebody down a hill and that would be the only way or I had a handbrake on there and you would drive this thing through, you know, down the hill and you'll, you'll kind of, it was kind of like a skateboard, right? Like a snowboard skateboard with, with wheels and the steering wheel. And it was cool, right? It was like, that was like super cool going back to those days, right? And, and those, those cool uh, toys or those cool things that you used that they used to be, when you were growing up. So yeah, it takes you back, you know, it takes you back. And I think, uh, you know, not to get it too overcomplicated. I think that nostalgia is, is that, you know, is, is remembering, is remembering things, remembering things in your, in, in, in the past, you know, and, uh, you know, those memories, you know, absolutely. I, I think that that's, that's the main reason why we want to, where those uh what the heck were those things called man oh man i can't remember right now um they have a specific name but they used to be called like the mc hammer pants i'm sure you all remember some of you are going to remember um i know that my uh my my listener group is around my age or a little older so you know what i'm going to be talking about but i had those when i was a kid right i had those when I was growing up, right, listening to the music and all this kinds of stuff, right? And, and now you're starting to see a lot more of that come back, right? And it's just because of people like us in our generation are trying to bring back trends, right, that remind us of when we were growing up. And, and I feel that that has a lot to do with uh, nostalgia, right, of course. Um, but, you know, let's let's take a quick break. Because I usually forget to do this and I am horrible at it. So I'm trying to I'm trying to turn a new leaf, damn it. So we're gonna go to a small commercial break. I'll be right back. Welcome to the League of Kings Podcast. Meet your hosts, Willie, J Dot, Big Brother, and Joe. Join these four distinct voices in insightful discussions about society and culture. Get ready for captivating content, camaraderie, and guaranteed laughter. Sit back, enjoy the show, and remember to like, share, and subscribe for an exciting journey ahead. Download, subscribe, and listen to Whiskey Hill Podcast. We're the new show that doesn't hold back on today's ridiculousness. We're not on the right, we're not on the left call it the way we see it and we're going to make you laugh while doing it throw in some great craft beer and you cannot lose download whiskey hell podcast anywhere you enjoy listening and check out whiskeyhellpod.com for more all right and i'm back now and uh back from the little small commercial break uh but yeah where was i so you know, what's funny is you're not going to get to hear this, but uh, on my roadcaster, uh, at the this machine that I use for podcasting, it's uh, very, if you don't know what it is, it's very popular amongst podcasters and it's uh, basically a soundboard and you can control all the sounds and you have buttons that you record stuff in it and you 
you record whatever you wanted to say, like my commercials from my shows, uh, from my buddy's shows and stuff like that. And uh, I, I thought I had a different one on for uh, my buddy Frank from a Dead Letter podcast. Make sure you check him out. Shout out to Frank. Um, and I, uh, I've been waiting for him to send me his. So I made one, a short one just for him. Uh, and I thought I had it saved on my soundboard, so I clicked on it, and all of a sudden, the this uh, the sound of an engine came on, and I was like, "What the hell?" Because it's it was for the new show that I'm creating, and I was like, "Oh my god!" So I'm here clicking all kinds of different buttons, and I'm like, "Where is the damn thing?" And I couldn't find it. So you're not gonna listen to any of that. Um, obviously, I'm going to edit that uh during the during editing uh but i thought it was pretty funny i was freaking out back here trying to press all kinds of different buttons and i couldn't get the right one that's because it's not on here so um that was pretty funny so <laughs> anyway so so yeah you know um i feel you know i feel like the the trends that are coming out and uh these old school stuff from back in the 80s and 90s and 70s i think it's a great thing right because it also shows you uh how far we've come and also on how different it was in different eras right uh, in the 80s and 70s and and you know all those times right 90s and the music and you know like i said earlier like a lot of um, artists music music musicians and artists you know uh, hip hop and all that you know they're country and they're all uh, integrating old school tracks in their stuff like their their music their beats and stuff it, it's really really cool i have no problem with it i don't have a problem if you're 19 years old and you're wearing uh you're wearing flat bottom, bottom freaking jeans or if you're wearing an atari shirt you know it's cool man it's all cool that just reminds us every time we see somebody wear stuff like that or listening to that kind of music you know and, and no matter how old you are you could be 15 years old and be listening to some old school music and it's okay because all it is is we're not going to be like why is that kid why is that person listening to that he's not old enough uh, a lot of us are going to are going to be like, damn, I remember that song. You know, I remember that time. Like, man, I was in high school, you know, and I was like the first song I, you know, I recorded on, on the radio with like a set player. You know, when you used to stick those things on top of the holes of the cassette, uh, you used to grab a little piece of notebook papers and stuff them in on top of the cassette and stick it in there and press record. Right. You hit like record and play at the same time. And you record stuff off the off the um off the radio and stuff like that and you know what i never i never looked this up but I, if you didn't have those things on there it, it it wouldn't it wouldn't record and obviously um i'm not gonna get too technical on it but you know i, I was like what the hell you know i never thought about it when i was a kid like why why do you have to plug these holes what what goes in there that makes it record right but obviously now that um i'm older i, I kind of understand uh, how that worked but i thought it was pretty funny but yeah i mean all these cool things, right, that uh, that are coming out, that are still coming out, that, you know, there's nothing wrong with being old school, right, and uh, nothing wrong with uh, going a little bit back in the past and remembering. Uh, I remember one thing uh, from this one movie that uh, was I Am Legend, right, with Will Smith, and uh, he starts out, and he's he's wearing some Converse, right? And he's old school because the movie's based in the future and he's a cop in the future, but he's old school, right? Has a, has an old heart, right? And um, he's wearing these Converse and, and, and nothing that he has in this place is, is, uh, is from the future, none of that, you know? And, uh, you know, watching scenes like that, it's like how I feel like now, right? When I wear something like a pair of Jordans, like Jordan 2s, Jordan 1s, and I'm like, damn, that's just takes me back like you know like if i was watching that will smith movie right it, it's just that scene right there is nostalgic right that scene right there is us right now right us in 2027 us in 2030 that is that is what that means right is you know going back in time right and it's just uh it, it's amazing it's a great great feeling and uh, I am I'm very excited that these new trends keep coming out. They're, they're really cool. I know there's some trends out there that are just just whack. But, you know, some of this other stuff is, is really cool, right? And it could be whack for me, but not whack for somebody else, right? But, you know, it's uh, I think it's I think it's awesome. It's a, it's an awesome thing. Um, you know, the older you get, the, the more the more you're like, holy smokes, man, that was that was a long 
a uh, long, long time ago. But uh, yeah, guys uh, and guys and girls are, are peeps. <laughs> Uh, I'm not on my 100% today. I can tell you that much. I'm I'm all over the place trying to record stuff, and uh, this is my first. Uh, a, this is not my first attempt. This is like my seventh attempt because I, uh, my buddy Willie, he doesn't edit anything. Whatever goes on there on his show, the thing about us podcast that he has with his wife Fiana, whatever is said, he doesn't edit anything. It just goes. So I just thought about him right now, but I like to edit stuff because sometimes I'm all over the damn place. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. And uh, I don't want you all to be like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Why is he cussing so much? You know, because I, every time I screw up, I'm over here cussing and yelling at the machine. And I'm like, what the hell? You know, I lost my train of thought. So um, anyways, um, so thank you for uh, joining me today on this exploration of nostalgia resurgence. Uh, be sure uh, to tune in next time. And uh, I'm going to have you know, another captivating cultural trend, right? We'll see. We'll see what happens. So hopefully you love this episode until next time. Peace. Thanks for checking out Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. We want to thank all our listeners and supporters around the world. You can listen to the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Podcasts. And don't forget to subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at Bold Talk by Joe and on Instagram at Bold Talk by Joe.